fantastic. Let's talk Burnley Football Club. Yes, a draw at Arsenal. No, no less than Arsenal. Yes, we didn't have a full team and now they did Arsenal. I suppose some of the, some of the people that uh, the Arsenal team were injured. And in fact, uh, one of the, uh, the, the, the um, Ar Arsenal players was injured before the kickoff. But uh, having said that, we've done really, really well. In the first half, obviously, nil-nil, and uh, Arsenal did push Burnley, but Burnley did start very brightly, and, and we could have scored, but we didn't, obviously. But Arsenal kept on pushing and pushing until half-time, and then the second half, uh, there was a few fouls, and possibly a red card could have gone to one of our Burnley players but it didn't and there was a couple of yellow cards but at least we've come through this with a nil-nil now some of the Arsenal fans are not going to be happy with this whatsoever because they wanted to go further up the league and and uh, possibly the fifth position in the league now Burnley is still bottom of the league but now we have another point yes 18 points and we've got game is in hand as well so i'm really looking forward to the games in hand now and we've got watford yes coming up and uh, they've just got beat the other day and uh, newcastle won uh, against leeds now norwich has been winning so they're out of the relegation but i can't personally cannot see norwich carrying on winning the way they have in the last couple of weeks uh, because they've got a lot of dodgy uh, fixtures like everybody else has got dodgy fixtures and I don't think that they're going to win much more but for Burnley I think on this showing we've done really really well and I think confidence is back in the team and I think that they are going to be able to uh, continue and possibly win the next two or three games that we have in hand I don't mean to say we're going to keep on winning but at least we're trying to get at least six points out of the remaining um, matches that we need to play right now transfer news I've got to take my glasses off now because otherwise I can't read right um, Sa Sardar Azamon from Zanit St. Saint Saint Peter's in Russia, uh, Mislav Osik of Dynamo Zagreb, uh, and Harry Vaughan from Oldham, believe it or not. He's 17 years old and he's worth, well, worth, uh, they've been offered £200,000 from Burnley for this 17 year old midfielder whiz kid. Um, um, hang on. Right, um, there are plenty. There's plenty of um, talks going on behind the scenes, and they're going to try and get the right players in place for the end of January. Okay, and I believe Newcastle want to sign James Tarkovsky as well. And obviously, and I've also heard whether it's true or not. It's on the internet. Loan of Aaron Ramsey for £400,000 a week. Yes, um, that's talk at the moment. Um, we've also got um, Hamed Laurenti from um, a French player who plays for FC Laurent, worth €10 million. Euros. He's a striker. Uh, there is confidence at Turf Moor that the new signings will arrive before the deadline. Um, the injured player, the Arsenal player, was Taki, Takiro Tomi, Tomiyaski, if I can pronounce that, I don't know. That was before kickoff. So obviously the, the half-time result was nil-nil, and obviously the second half was nil-nil. Uh, Jay Rodriguez was substituted for Johan Gunmanson. Okay, and I'm really, really happy, and I suppose that a lot of Burnley fans are now eating their words, 
so like some I know on other um, YouTube channels who were saying we're down, we're down, we're down, we're down. And I believe now they'll be thinking if we get the right players in and we get um, Maxwell Cornier back facing some of these uh, lesser teams or the ones that are in trouble, we could win these games in hand and we'll be out of trouble before you can say goose. All right. Well, I'm happy. Uh, and you can see I've got my Burnley shirt on now. Uh, this is the first time I've worn it because I got it for Christmas. And I'm so happy that I put it on. I normally have my scarf. I normally have my hat in the garden. But I thought I'd come in the bedroom because it's a little bit dark out there. It's a little bit chilly. But we're happy. And I'm, I'm sure that every Burnley fan in the world is now celebrating a point from Arsenal. That's it for now. This has been the fourth Let's Talk Burnley Football Club and I hope to see you again in the next one which will be the fifth one and hopefully I've got good news as well as I've got good news for you today. All the very best and up the clariots, that's the way, up the clariots.